Sandra. This is Sandra, and we're in Hammond, Louisiana. Yes. And I met the friend with James. He's going to give us a recipe of this famous red beans and rice. And he's going to show us the spices. What you do with the spices, James, that you use in your season for your red beans and rice? Oh, yeah, I use it. I use straight black pepper or something. Mama's black pepper? Black pepper in it. And, uh, but I usually use uh, Snap Your Mama. Snap Your Mama. And then you just show me some Zara? Yes. And Zara season. Let's see what, the, what it looked like. Go get it. Let me see it again. And he made this um, Sakatuma cake out of bourbon. And it tastes so fantastic. Good pecans in it. Bourbon taste. It's a good Sakatuma cake. Now he's going to give us a recipe of his authentic Louisiana red beans right. and rice. So he's going to show us. Let me show. Okay, that's the cake right there. He's going to show us. Okay. Show this on the camera. Sit here. Sit down. So we show. And this is what you use. Tony and Sashman's Creole. And then you use that other one too? What's that yes, other I one use, too? I use this here. Is it the same as both it's, of them? It's both of them are the same. Okay, which one well, you like the best? The one the best is this one. Oh, Tony's best is that Tony's best. Oh, wow. Yeah, Tony's anywhere. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. how do you start your red beans and rice? My red beans and rice, yeah. how do I do? I usually soak my beans uh -huh. overnight, soak them all. Either I soak them a while, and then I take some out, redo it, you know, rinse mm -hmm. it off, redo it, and then let it sit. And, and I cook it. And mm -hmm. I turns it up. Mm -hmm. Let it get hot. Then I sit it down. Let it cook slow. Uh -huh. And then what seasoning meat you put in there? Well, this is the season that but I use. But what meat do you use? The meat I use, I use high sauces. Oh wow! And uh, I use put the sauces in there. You can get them in mild too, also. And you do use a pickle pig pig. And the pickle. Pickle pig tail. Pig in. Put and then you put the pig in there. As the water get hot, let it cook. Okay. What about the uh, you put onion and celery bell pepper? Yeah, I put uh, yeah, you don't you don't have to use bell pepper. But well, is that the Trinity of New Orleans, Louisiana? The Trinity. It's a little bit different than New Orleans, better than I am. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway. I'm a country man. So, <laughs> so you do it two different this one directions. Okay. Do it. Well, that sounds good. And I really appreciate you telling my audience, of my subscribers, about how you do your authentic red beans rice. So you don't put garlic in it either? You put garlic yeah, in you, it? Yes, you put garlic in your... Now you do this, a bay leaf? Do I do it regular? What a bay leaf? Do you put bay leaves you in can, it? You can, you can. Okay, and then yes, you I have used it before. So you put the bay leaves, right. and you don't use any other spices, no thyme, just no, that no. clip. Just this yeah. right here, and this tone and saturation is the you best use thing you like. You can use in it just like uh, anything that season. you want to make it hot, a little hotter, spikes it. Pan Most pepper? people don't eat red beans hot. They eat them mild. mild. Do you make them uh, screaming or you make them like bullets? I heard somebody say they make them like nah, bullets. No, no, no. That's the reason why you let it soak. So they won't be like bullets. <laughs> yeah, just let it cook. <laughs> but you got to turn it, you know, you turn it up, let it get cold and cold, and then you turn it down a little. Now, is it certain it beans you use? Is it certain red beans no, no. brand that you use? No. Just a regular red, red bean? Red Don't they put a be pink or red? Some of them red. say pink, red pink. I don't know, pink red. I've that? seen some red, I've seen some pink. I'll keep the beans. Well, you make sure you don't want to eat them pizza. Okay. Nobody else is going to kill somebody. Okay. Try well. to kill somebody. I'll be coming to us. Get you out of jail. <laughs> okay, sure. We're in Hammond, Louisiana at James' home. And he gave us some recipes. And this is Sandra. I want to say happy eating. And thank you for watching. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here with you again today with another recipe. And this recipe is an old favorite. It's red beans and rice. My version <laughs> of red beans and rice. So what we started with was smoked turkey tails. They've been boiling for about maybe 30, 40 minutes. And about 10 cups of water. So what I do now is add a can of tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. That size can. Diced tomatoes. I add onion, celery, bell pepper, garlic, and of course my 
jalapeno pepper in the mix. But already in the uh, water, we have bay leaves, about four or five bay leaves already that's in the water. And then what I do next is add what a lot of people don't know that I add a little hickory smoke just maybe a little drizzle of hickory smoke and then I add black pepper pepper and add apple cider vinegar with a little drizzle like that because in New Orleans they use pigtails but I'm using smoke um, turkey tails and now what I'm adding is some Creole Tonys just a little not too much and then a little old Creole season just a little not that much and then I add my sauces I cut my sauces in fours like that I like my sauces to be heavy like that but these are beef sauces and turkey sauces okay what we add now is the beans the beans been soaking 24 hours so we'll see how they look and they are the red kidney beans so what I'm gonna do is place them in here like that with all these seasons oh these beans are so soaked they're gonna be a lot of beans put these beans in like that. I think that's enough beans for the mixture that I have. Yeah, that's enough beans for the mixture I have. Okay, so sometimes you can overdo beans, but all you have to do is just freeze them and they'll be fine. And then what we're going to do next, I'm going to use chili. No bean chili, but I use that on the last part of it. This is Sandra. I want to show you how to do my version of red beans and rice, and I think you will love the difference. So what we're going to do next is put a stick of margarine. We got our black pepper. We have our Cajun season. We got our um, apple cider vinegar. We got our black pepper, like I said. We got our Cajun season. We got a little smoke. And we're going to add some more garlic powder to the mix. More garlic powder. And we're going to add some thyme. Yes, thyme is a state of New Orleans. So we can add some thymes. Like that. And you know this is going to cook about an hour or two hours. So I'm going to put a top on it. And let them cook about an hour and a half, maybe two. And we'll be back with the final results. This is Sandra. Happy eating. Hi, this is Sandra. This is part two of the red beans and rice. I'm showing you how the red beans and rice turn out to be. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. The beans are thick. The beans are soft. Look at the meat. Look at the sauce. Look at the creamy gravy. The meat and the gravy and the taste. The reason why we use the apple cider vinegar in New Orleans, they have pickled pigtails. And I don't use pickled pigtails because uh, I don't eat pork. So that's why we use smoked turkey butts. And I call them turkey tails, but we call them turkey butts, really. So I use that, and that's why I put the hickory liquid smoke into the beans so that they will have a little smoke taste and I use smokes I use smoked beef sausage and I cut them like that and I use turkey sausage and I cut them like that also the chili what I was showing you we're gonna do the chili with another recipe I just wanna catch a little tail right quick <laughs> and say I'm not letting go put chili in those uh, recipes Beans and rice? No, I wasn't. So let's uh, plate up the red beans and rice. Look at that. 
Ain't they beautiful? They are so delicious. Oh, they are so delicious. Look at that. Get some meat. Some sausage. The sauce is like that. Good old red beans and rice on a cold day like this in Mississippi is so delicious. Got a sausage and put a little juice. Wow, look at that. That's what I'm talking about, some red beans and rice. Okay, now your sausage, look at them. Creamy, delicious. Look at the vegetables in there. I like to see vegetables in mine. Some people cook them, you know, without the vegetables, but I like to see the vegetables in mine. Okay, I'm going to add the rice. Rice like that. And there you got some red beans and rice. Red beans and rice are one of those traditions in New Orleans. So you have the rice. Red beans and rice, you just do it like that. Oh, the beans are so good. Just try this recipe. Use the apple cider vinegar and use the smoke, liquid smoke. Use it and you see the difference. It tastes just like New Orleans style. Look at that. Those beans and sausage. Looks so good. Look at that. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating and thank you for watching my videos. Look at those beans. Those beans are really delicious. Look at that. They soft. Because we soak them 24 hours. Sometimes we don't soak beans, but I soak these because they need that flavor. When you soak those beans, it bring that, that authentic flavor. Look at that. These are some good beans. This is Sandra. I want to say happy eating.